Welcome back to Final Fantasy XIV and here back in Gyarvania where we continue with a Bard's quest with Sansen here. The instant we hand your Bard's journal to headquarters, the truth of Vayne Chillon's death is all but guaranteed to be struck from history. I fought long and hard on a course of action, what we should do with a tome, and I believe I'm drawing close to the answer. Before I make my decision, however, I would ask your honest opinion. Do you think the sordid truth of the Autumn War should be made public knowledge? Even should it jeopardize our relationship with El Amigo? As it turn its credibility. Verily, a sound choice demands a sound grasp of a situation. As ever, you are on an island of calm reason amid a sea of chaos. Thank you, Serenia. As the leader of our unit, I'm now ready to make my decision. Let's find good a lot. You will wish to hear it too. So, you made up your mind then? About what to do with the truth? I have. I shall go to the Edison's and entrust the journal to our superior's care. Above all, we cannot allow it to be used as an instrument of hatred. Having said that, neither will I stand for the truth to be erased. I will oppose any attempt to do so with all my being. Um, I'm not sure I understand. What do you want to do exactly? I will hand over the journal. On the condition that the truth be revealed one day, and that people are ready to accept it. Call me indecisive, but I cannot bear to see the tome misused, nor the truth willfully buried. Well, well, look at you. Sansen was stiff standing his ground. Goes without saying, I'm with you, Chief. Ain't no one gonna exploit all US history on my watch. Thank you, my friends, for trusting in me. <laughs> Don't let that get to your head, though, huh? Had your decision not been for my, to my liking, I would have knocked you flat on your ass and resigned from your thriving unit. So much for you decide, huh? Never change, get a lot. Captain Sanson, right? Some fellow asked me to pass this letter to you. This is from Noval. The journal is yours to do with as you wish, but ere you take it away, I would speak with Serenia, and Serenia alone one last time. I await you in Dunnwood, by the percipient one. Oh, this reeks. Tell me it don't. But if it's a trap, why would Nova ask the strongest of us all? He may truly have something important to say. Conversely, it would also offer us a chance to convey our intent. I'm loath to expose you to danger, my friend, but will you go to this meeting? I don't like the idea of you going alone, but that would defeat the purpose of the meeting. As a first sign of danger, we'll get out of there fast, alright? Okay, it's... This purple cloud, that means we will be monsters or enemies at least.
Okay, um... Yeah, see you back at the camp. And level 70! God for the achievement just talking about shafts. So, um, get a lot. Why are you talking? Why are we talking to you? What happened to Sensen? Ah, you're back. But where's Sensen? Never let arrived right after you left, asking for him to come as well. You really alone, man? Swifey, we are just a diversion. Sensen was my real target. Thought it'd be alright seeing it as you would be there, but I've. I should have gone as well. God, strike me down for a fool. If you didn't see Sansom, we must have napped him on the way to Dimwood. Come on, we have to find him. <laughs> Any trace, Gildorot? Sansom's book was lying here. We left a message in blood, the goddamn mamas. We have your friend, we will send our prize to the other's nest. That horse can take his ransom and shove it up his ass. We're gonna storm their hideout, tear them all in new new runs and free sense them. We must keep calm. Damn it, Serenia. How can you always be so calm? It's downright contagious. And you're right, of course. We charge in, we put putting Sanson at risk. We need help, but we're gonna save him. Come on. Let's hurry back to Gridania, to the other's nest. Just reported the situation. We're gonna call a meeting to talk strategy. As for Gil Bart's journal, I'm still holding on to it. Told them it's for the chief to hand over. They were none too pleased, fancy that. You see, unlike our friend Sanson, I don't have much faith in the order. Don't trust them up to act in our best interest. The journal is our bargaining chip, not only with them, but no well besides. It would be good to bring old Jantel into this as well. He'd want to know and might even have some sage's wise to share. But for now, we sit tight. Wait and see what the order and Novell will do. And then we plan uh, some doings of our own. So then, rest up and save your strength, Serenia. We're gonna need it. Straight shot gets upgraded, and of course, equipment. Good time, Serenia. Noval demands. Noval's demands have just arrived at the Adder's Nest. In exchange for Sansons freedom, we are to release the contents of Gil Bart's journal to the public. Bastards won't be satisfied until all Greedanians hate all our Lamegans' guts. The brass has to deliberate a course of action as we speak. Not much we can do now, but wait. Command has made its decision. You will not wish to hear this, but the Order rejects Noval's demands. He and his friends are to be summarily eliminated. What? Hold on just a sec. You won't even try to negotiate Sanson's release? As a nation, we cannot bow to acts of intimidation. I'm afraid negotiation was never an option. And here I must repeat the order for you to relinquish the journal at once. So what you're saying is you're abandoning Sanson. You gotta let him die. Here's the great Vainchelon, he wrote to all Gridanians, but you won't even lend an ear to his descendant, oh no. Instead you choose to the easy way out. Just kill everyone, even your own men. Wash away the bloody past with more blood. Just to be clear, I ain't siding with Noval. There's no excusing his method, but there's no excusing yours either. It's bullshit, that's what it is. I've lost faith in the order. No, no, pray not be so quick to despair, for I was simply relaying the outcome of Command's deliberation. A deliberation in which the Elder Seatseer had no part. As you say, Gerdelot, the orders are bullshit. 
Not the words I would have chosen, but you speak the truth nonetheless, and I for one have no intention of abiding by them. The decision was largely influenced by a small handful of our leadership, and not the boldest handful, if I may add. It was plain from the fact that they did not think to bring the matter before the Elder seats here. Captain Sm Smythe is a dear comrade, like you. I would spare no aid in any effort to rescue him, and I'm pleased to say that we are not alone in the sentiment. As a matter of fact, I've already reached out to my Lancer and Archer acquaintances, and they stand ready to aid our cause. <laughs> now we're talking. There's still hope for the Order, if it has good blokes like you, Wussy. I would thank you not to call me that. Now, the Order will move as soon as they are certain the enemy's location. So, time is of the essence, Gear the Lord. Pray, take word of these developments to Jantel. Meanwhile, Serenia, I need you to bear word to the two Guildmaster, Lucerne and Irene. I know them both. Tell them that the time is nigh and pray return here swiftly. Time is nigh then. Very well. We shall make ready to depart at once. When the call came, full many here offered their bows. There is not a soul here who knows not of you and Giantel and Gidelot. Together, let us rescue Samson. Not mit Kasoma. I was sale has briefed me on the situation. Sanson once trained in these very halls and I should like to hear his excuse for being captured so easily. At any rate, you may count on our lances. That Sanson was one of our own is reason enough. This request comes from both you and my longtime friend was sale himself. There you are. Not a moment too soon. Things have begun to move. Our scouts report that Noval and his bands have since returned to the Twelfth Wood. They have made their lair in the North Shore, near the shards of Dalamut. Even as we speak, we order mobilizers a unit for an assault. We must be there ahead of them. Set out at once and make f first for Alder Springs. I shall instruct the others to join you there. I will remain here to stall our forces as long as I can. Godspeed. Well, we would, would know by now about this, right? So do we go into the raid area, I wonder? I'm talking about the um, second coil of Bahamut in case I haven't shown it off yet, yeah? We are ahead of a twin editor crew. Let's keep it that way and get right to work. Our guild friends will take down the sentries and secure the area. We're free to get close to Noval and give him the refreshing he deserves. Well, well, I was not expecting you to. He do deliver Quidanian's answer, are we? You wish, you craven horse, and whatever your demands are, ain't nothing to do with us. So you're acting alone. I thought you had some wits, or do you care that little for your friend? Kill Sanson before you get your answer, and all deals are off. Everything you've worked for up in smoke. And do you care that little for your goal? <laughs> Mayhap you have some wits after all, but clever will your ploy may be, have you the strength to back them up? 
Oh, I'm getting my names mixed up, right? Uh, the voices. Um, oh, don't worry on that score. We're gonna knock you around all, all, so hard, all the scales will fall from your eyes. And that, if that ain't enough to make you see clearly, I'll even slap in a song, something lively to wake you up from your misguided beliefs. Suffer none to stand in the way of my ambition. Your ambition's shite, and we're gonna make it sure you see sense of me feeding it into you. You're strong, but I cannot fall, not until my goal is realized. He's got spirit, I give him that. But so do we, and we're gonna take it down like... Get was, was that earthquake your song just now? No, it was him, right? Yeah. Get it one out. <sighs> Can't move. Wake me out of the serenium. Stop on fools, are you so eager for death? I will give it to you.
Why? Why do you not understand? Why do you not see the Alamegans for a filth they are? Let each spear be thrust for everlasting peace. Let each arrow be loosed for the forest and the trees. And the greatest rule of all for all men to embrace, let each life be lived for smiles on every face. Th that song, how do you know it? I learned it just recently with a spot of help from Gentilium. He showed me Vain Chalon's grave, which I understand your family's been tending to for generations. The song was engraved on the headstone. It's a fine piece, and then hard to see why your ancestors so, so loved it. Taking up arms as we might have peace, that we might have peace, so the words go. Words that came from Vangelon himself, as a matter of fact. The Autumn War gave birth to a good many anthems, and a good many of them borrowed his words. Take a look, and you notice a recurring theme: peace and harmony. How dare you preach of me of, to me of my ancestor? For a generation my family has sought justice for Lord Vangelon. You couldn't possibly comprehend our pain. Not us, perhaps. But I dare say your great-grandsire, Lord Lundwinnell, could comprehend it better than any man. He witnessed his own sire murdered before his eyes. He knew the painful truth, yet he chose to keep it secret. Why was this, do you suppose? It was because he knew that, above all else, his sire desired peace. Had it been made known that the hero was struck down by treachery, ordinary Gudanians wouldn't have been satisfied with protecting their homes. Nay, they would have demanded justice. They would have demanded blood. And the war would have raged on, leaving yet more death and destruction in its wake. And the peace that Lord Vangelon dreamed of would have gone up in smoke. Knowing this, Lord Londonel. Spare me your lies, Lord Vangelon desired Alamigo's destruction. You cannot tell me otherwise. Tell me, young man, did it not strike you as odd that I knew of Vangelon's grave? That which your family has kept secret all these years? The explanation is simple. I had the honor of knowing Lord Londonel. Like you, he admired Lord Lavangelon and everything he stood for. And what he stood for, first of all, was peace and harmony. If you would honor both their memories, you would do well to honor these ideals. No, it, this cannot be. My ancestors despised Alamigans. Yes, they all did. If not everything I've labored for, all the blood and tears have been for naught. I ask not that you forgive, but know that neither will we forget. When the time is right, I will see to it that all know of Lord Vangelon's great sacrifice. This I swear in Nothica's name. I ask only that you believe, as your ancestors fervently did, in a brighter future, one of our shaping, undarkened by shadows of the past. Let's send the others back. We can deal with the rest ourselves.
Why not, Serenia? I'm quite well. Thanks to you and Gidalot, I it ended with only a few cuts and bruises. But ere I may rest, I must see to one last task. Make a good on my promise to Noval. Come, let us return to the other's nest. My apologies for keeping you waiting, Commander. I have Gilbert's journal with me, and I will surrender it on one condition. Once the veracity of a tome's contents is ascertained, the order must make the truth public knowledge, then the time is right. On this we are of our mind, Captain Smith. Not only will I relay your terms to our leaders, I will speak strongly in favor of them. But know that mine is but one voice, and more shall be needed if we are to strengthen our cause. As such, you must rise with ranks swiftly to stand with me. Uh, stand with you? I fear it will take me a while to attain that honor. Uh, to be fooled and taken captive so easily, I'm still green as summer grass. Tis true that the success of his mission is owed much to Serenia, and you would do well to give her your profuse thanks. However, I suggest that you also give yourself more credit. You may have much to learn, but you will learn them in good time. This time you are faced with numerous trials, yet you, did you not accomplish your mission in spite of them? Aye, lis listen to Vosi. We came back with a tome and no one can say we didn't do our job. Look at you, a bit of praise and you sh <laughs> shunt Mahmud. That won't do at all. If you're gonna shape the future of our nation, you're gonna have to shape up. You're right, Gedalot. From leading our unit to fulfilling my promise to Noval, much rests upon my shoulders. Come what may, I will ever stand tall and forge on. Serenia, I must needs to go file my report, but ere I leave, allow me to offer you my heartfelt thanks. Not only for your invaluable aid, but for being an example to me. By following your lead, I shall strive to become the best leader I can be, that my unit's song might one day serve to rouse all Gridanium. <laughs> and off he goes. Good that he's held and hearty at any rate. I'll stick with Sanson for a while, make sure you don't tear up any stitches. In the meantime, would you go and let Gentle know we returned? I'll be along myself soon enough. But speaking of your old man, to think that he knew Vangelot's son? You don't get to that edge and not rub some shoulders of a legend or two, huh? <sighs> Seriously, gentlemen, why are you still living in the woods? <laughs> It makes no sense. I see. My thanks for bearing word. Those sense not get a lot may not have ended endeared themselves with twin other leadership. Where found the stout ally and commander Hulia? I must say it truly stirs the spirit to see the younger generation blaze a new path. And I pray that Noval too will find his own path to walk. One with is paved not with hatred, but with hope. That leads to peace both in the world and in his heart. It is what his ancestors would have wished. In him I see them, and it calls to mind my days spent learning bow and song under his great grandsire. A kindly old man who tirelessly tended his father's grave, never forgetting the ideals he stood for. Somewhere along Lord Vangelon's line, those ideals had faded away. But thanks to you and yours, they may yet be restored and made bolder still by true remembrance of the past. And the world shall be a better place for it. The fervent desire to aid your comments awaken a new melody within you. 
This concludes Bard Quest and Stormblood. Must Shadowbringers and Roll Quest Borage Corn of Born of Fear. Then it goes on from here. Okay. A Bard's Tale. So, what is our equipment like? Hmm. Well, that metric doesn't look bad. No, really, it looks good. I like it. Is that a blowpipe you're carrying there? That's a horn. Okay. Why not? Good, but that's it for this episode. Um, yeah, level 70 Bart. Until next time, when we play more Final Fantasy XIV, I'm Mace and don't get lost. <laughs>